So because uh, that might be helpful. Uh, Patrick Nielsen. Okay. Uh, playing Strader in the mystery dramas. Okay. And and so so you go back to your childhood. I mean, I'm not a psychiatrist or anything like that, but <laughs> I think people might want to know <laughs> what uh, fires you up. Uh, well, you mentioned that you know she didn't have the typical family mm -hmm. background experience. I think mine is more typical. Um, mm. I, I, it's, e it's easy for me to forget, but that the arts really were a big part of my family uh, in the past. Okay. Uh, my grandmother painted, my grandfather uh, did wood carving, both, you know, completely, um, you know, I'll say amateur, but I would love to strip the negative connotation mm. from that word, you know. Right, right. Um, my mother also painted, she, just won she did wonderful watercolors. Um, my, my mother and my father and my sisters uh, did dancing and singing. Uh, but when I came along, just at the phase of life, all of that had just kind of stopped happening, you know. Uh, so, I, I, though it's in my family, it's not an activity that I was really uh, connected with mm -hmm. very strongly. Mm -hmm. um, I was connected with television. I watched a lot of TV. Yeah. A lot of cartoons. Yeah. Um, and as I started, you know, as I was getting, grew older and living more into the world realize that a lot of the picture that I have of how things worked, particularly in the social world, didn't add up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did just didn't stack with my experience, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and still doesn't uh, consistently. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, no, it doesn't for, for anybody. <laughs> um, so that really confused me a lot. I was a pretty inept child in in my will. Uh, I couldn't really, didn't really do, wasn't really good at anything. Mm -hmm. um, didn't know how to relate to people because mm -hmm. I took what I had learned from television too literally. Yeah, right. Um, and didn't really have, I had, I guess now I realize that I had kind of artistic impulses but had no idea how to realize them. So I went into my head, I went to my thinking. Yeah. You yeah. know, dove into books and, yeah. Yeah. you know, just read a lot of garbage, and, <laughs> and, and, you know, for a long time. Well, at least you know then what not yeah. to read after. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, um, anyway, so, but ultimately that led me to philosophy. And then philosophy just became a big, a major part of my life. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I started it in college and was inspired to that transformation through thought is a real possibility and now I can now I can say I it's really the first place of freedom yeah um, so I wanted to share that experience because I had a wonderful education and um, what college did you go to I went to a college called st. John's College it's the uh, the great books program uh, where you just study the classics of the Western tradition and wow. sit around and talk about them. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. There you go. Essentially. Okay. So direct from the source. Yeah. You know, no secondary sources at all. Wow. Yeah. So uh, it sort of sounds a little bit more like self-learning. It, yeah, it is. You know, I mean, um, not stuffing in and spitting back out or something. Definitely not. No, I recently saw a... Um, Kind of a slogan uh, for the school. Uh, it just—it's just a caption, you know. Great minds don't think alike. Oh, there you go. St. John's College. There you go. There you go. <laughs> um, That's the breath of fresh air. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, I, I'm biased, but I think it's the best undergraduate education available in this country. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so so I wanted to share that. Uh, and so was interested in education, mm -hmm. but was very aware that the standard model of education was not living up to that. No. But I had known some people who had gone to really interesting independent schools and mm -hmm. were incredibly rich, wonderful people. And these are the kinds of people that I aspired to, to, to live up to. Yeah. Um, yeah. Didn't know about Waldorf. But knew, but thought maybe I'd you know pursue teaching in one of those areas. But how do I prepare for that? 
Yeah. So I was looking for an alternative teacher training, essentially. Yeah, yeah. And that led me to Sunbridge College. Oh, uh, so to, you did come here. So I did the Waldorf. So when was that? It was 2006, okay. I think. Yeah. Not that long ago. No, not really. Um, seems like a lot longer. Like lot two longer years ago. before Barbara roped you into the mystery dramas. The year. The, f the same year. Yeah, because we, yeah, cause we had started... We've done the first part first. I don't remember the actual sequence at that point. Yeah, but, um, but uh, mm -hmm. it, it, you got, in other words, you met her right away or something, because she yeah. was doing speech She was doing, she was part of the program. Exactly, and, she uh, did speech. Yeah, and I had no real connection with anthroposophy. Um, just yeah. kind of dove into, you know, I quit my job. I, <laughs> I just, I quit my job on the way up here. Oh, wow. I called in, said, sorry, I... <laughs> I'm doing something. I'm not else. coming in ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for the short notice. But yeah, it was right. definitely one of those crazy impulse. It was it was spurred by I crashed my car. I crashed my car and uh, and realized that I couldn't get around Long Island without a car. So I needed to make a serious change. Either buy a new car and then double down on my job in paying it off. Mm-hmm. Or make a complete change where I wouldn't actually need a car and yeah. move into a different phase of my life. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I decided, realized that that's what I actually wanted to do. <laughs> in, other words, kind of crazy. in other words, in other words, destiny gives you a hint or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it push was. you in the right direction. Yeah. That's why I say these 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 moments where it's a real crossroad. Mm -hmm. You know, what are you going to do? Yeah. So that's. The how you got into the mystery plays. That's how I got into, uh, yeah, anthroposophy and the mystery plays. And did you and do Strada right away? Yeah, yeah, I didn't know anything about it. Um, Barbara called me one day uh, and, and, and was very kind of mm -hmm. uncertain, but she said, you know, there's this thing that I'm working on, this, this play, it's, it's written by Steiner, it's a little bit crazy, it's actually really crazy, but I was wondering if you would want to, you know, be a part yeah. of it. And I said, sure, yeah, why not? It sounds like fun, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I came to a meeting, and I, you know, met a lot of the people in the cast, and we did a read-through of a scene. Yeah. And, um, and I was fascinated, you know, because mm -hmm. the language and the, 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 the initial opacity of the of the uh, of, of the language Good word. wasn't really a barrier for me because I had an, a, a training in in the classics in the classics. So yeah. it's it's not that, and I you know I came off very well. I looked very smart, but really it was just that I was accustomed to it. Yeah, you yeah. know, um, yeah. to just difficult language. And yeah, because I just threw training exactly. Uh, yeah. So the ideas. What was being said actually popped out. Like, wow, that's really interesting. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's also really that interesting. Somebody did that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and somebody thought about that a hundred years ago, almost. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, write something like that, which is certainly not normal. Yes. And and we've got too much of normal. Yes. We need something that isn't normal. Mm. I can't remember the name of the author. I always forget. It's a. Kulavind. Is he the one who wrote from normal from, to from healthy. healthy? Exactly. That's Kulavind. That book title comes back to me again and I again know. and yeah. again in yeah. all of this it's work so perfect, that we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. We have a great deal of normal, but normal is not the state of stability and health yeah. on any soul spiritual level that we that our culture and society tends to think it is. Yeah. Yeah. We there's this young fellow, that. there's this young fellow, his name is Jack Jacob, and he is, he, he was diagnosed autistic at two years old, and he's on the TED Talk, and he's only 12 years old, and he started university when he was 10. He's into mathematics and geometry and all, and he stands on the stage and he gesticulates mm. wildly and he says, you people have to stop learning, you have to stop learning, you have to start creating. Mm. <laughs> yeah, he gets all wild. I'm going to reference that in here because, mm. yes. you know, because these children come to us and they say, 
what's in books it's already they know done the children we who need are to have the new know. thing yeah yeah we have to do something new so what's the future now because i i kind of think there's something coming up with the mystery place that's going to be very unusual well <laughs> uh, well so next year a year from now will be taking place something that hasn't taken place before which in is north a, america never ever Nowhere, as far as I know, has there been one conference in which one group of people has done all four mystery dramas in English. Yeah. They've done it in German, beautifully, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in Dornach, but not in the English language by one group who has been carrying them. And that is our, our aim. And that's a karmic group. I it's think anybody not... who comes together in these plays and stays is a karma group. You know, that's, I mean, the, the, but that's a question for me, uh, if, if you want to go there. Because um, Barbara is fond of saying, and, I, and I've taken it on, that we're not, a, we're, not people who, we're not people who have been drawn to create a, 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 a knot. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not... No, no, not in no, that sense. No, no but, it, but it, 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 we're all peripheral maverick people, individual individual people who don't fit in with the normal initiatives even within anthroposophy which yes, is far yes. from a normal initiative yeah um and just i think it's just through barbara's will that just grabbed people who could be grabbed and put them together yeah. and i think and it felt like that from the very beginning that in the beginning it felt very much like that who are these people? We're not, we don't have a connection. We're not, we don't even particularly no, no. like each other, you know. But then. But, and then, and but then, then, through. This experience of, through this experience in which most of us would never have crossed paths. And if we had, it would have been a just, oh, well, hello, nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There has been this growing together through a lot of rubbing up against each other and rubbing off each other's sharp corners and artistic differences and disagreements and social differences and disagreements into what this year is becoming a, a very close knit it, it, fabric of unusual people. Love. entities in a great deal of love the small parts, the large parts, everyone who is here, you can feel this care that is really being placed around yeah. each other. Yeah. And that is then moving into this huge thing that is taking place next year. I can just imagine, because you've worked here together with the mystery drama, what your next lifetime is going to be like. I wonder about that sometimes. <laughs> you know, because really that does create something. Of you course. know, it's How so could it's, it not? you know, I mean, <laughs> yeah. One, one of our members made a comment one day last week after we had been doing our old Saturn scene in which all of the actors are spread out on the stage playing the characters who are finding themselves in this cosmic midnight moment before birth, remembering and cognizing what their relationships are to each other and what will be required of them in this incoming relationship mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. she said yeah there were all of our characters doing it and there are all of us the actors exactly every day yeah in some state of consciousness or not right. consciousness doing the same thing right. exactly and because and the characters the you know Aspects of the characters really carry certain, have a universal quality, mm. you know, we're also playing each other, at yes. each other, for each other. F f with each other. With each other, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, days where the, even the person who is playing Maria experiences her Johannes mm. very strongly, or... or when, we, when, when we first met, you said, oh, you look like... A Johannes, you misspoke, but and it's true that I do actually feel personally a strong connection with Strader, but there's also <laughs> a strong Johannes quality yeah. too, you know. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. 
I mean, th that's the beauty of what anthroposophy in a certain way fosters, that, uh, you know, the other person becomes very important. Mm. Yes. You know, I mean, without, without the other people, I'm nothing. I mean, you know. And I would say... Oh, what's that line from the Green Snake? Oh, from the Green Snake and Beautiful Lily, which is the seed of the mystery dramas. Exactly. The line is what is spoken by the old man with the lamp at the moment when everything seems lost. The prince has died, the sun is sinking, no one knows, it's a dead end. There is nothing that anyone can do. And he says, I do not know if I can help. Mm -hmm. Here's the wisest one of all, the Benedictus-like mm -hmm. character. One alone can do nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when one joins with others in the right moment, much can be accomplished. Yeah. Without, without everybody having a big agenda that's personal. Yes, because that's the next line. <laughs> we are gathered in a propitious hour. Yeah. Let each one do his task. Yeah. Let each perform her, her duty. Exactly. And universal happiness will dissolve our individual differences. Yeah. Sorrow. It's not differences, sorrow. it's sorrows. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> it's... So well, Green Snake and Beautiful Lily available for, uh, you know, for a venue near you. There you yeah. go. Oh, yeah. We've had <laughs> it. On demand. There you are. We've had it. But uh, that I, is, that's what we're living Yeah. Yeah. in this little microcosm, which is taking place in yeah. this... Yeah. group of actors with this play and there's a quote somewhere a eurythmist friend last year gave me a postcard which I should have memorized it's a poem by someone like Rilke although I don't think it's Rilke about the fact that in this time mystery dramas do not take place in the temple mm -hmm. with the priests mm -hmm. they are here yeah. and that each of us is wonderfully and terribly the actors in each of our others own initiation mm -hmm. yeah. into the new mysteries. Exactly. We are all each other's terrible and wonderful other actors in our own And uh, Hierophant and the uh, Twelve around, that's, in other words, we do it for each other. There's yes. nobody on top anymore. We have to, to totally do it for each other. I mean, I didn't, and, and the thing is, I'm trying to do my part because when I came to, to the mystery play, I didn't do the other three in the previous mm. years. I wasn't really drawn to it, but this year I, I, I was drawn to it. So I didn't know I was supposed to film you. That just happened. Yes. You know, so I'm doing my part. But I'm not really attached to the outcome. I'm, I'm you know, I can, I can do it so I can do it. You're you know? listening to the moment and, yeah, and yeah. going to where What's, it is pointing what wants, you. What wants to happen? I mean, for me, it's important now to, to talk to Barbara and see how did she get where oh, she... Oh, yes. You know? Oh, yeah. oh she's yes. She's so important, she, you know? She's quite I mean, a yeah. person. <laughs> I mean, and she's now on Facebook, so, you know, she's getting... She's Dragged, getting kicking yeah, and she's, screaming Exactly, exactly. But so, she is there, that's right. Yeah. The other thing that I wanted to mention is uh, what is different and totally the right thing to do is that uh, not everybody is a professional actor. And that's totally, totally the most important thing. They have been called, but their life path didn't really get them to be trained in yeah. some ways, so that is very different. I really appreciate that. Very different mm. and very important. Yeah. The yeah. sense of community. But you get professional as you do it. Yes. Doing it. Watching. Doing it. Chekhov, actors Chekhov would have through. loved it. Chekhov yes, he would, would have. And loved. Steiner would have He loved would have it. loved it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And use technology. Steiner burned out every uh, uh, electric Thing and Donna, <laughs> when he was doing Eurythmy or the plays or anything, I mean, yeah, we have to have to have Lucifer and Ariman. We have to take the gifts that they bring. Yeah, those hands are not pushing away. No, they are right holding. There we go. <laughs> yeah, she's got one Lucifer up, one down. Lucifer in his place, and exactly. Ariman in his place, exactly. As Serving. the representative strides forward, as Sherry said exactly. this morning.